It's that time of year. And most people forget that you need to update your unemployment and ETT training tax. So a lot of times within QuickBooks, we just assume that everything updates automatically. Hold on a second, I have to mute my, <laughs> it's like back feeding back to me. Okay, perfect. Um, so people forget a lot of times that they gotta update their form. So normally EDD, if you're a California employer, mails you a form that looks like this, it gives you your rates in December sometime. Let me show you that if for some reason, we're a little blurry, uh, if for some reason you didn't get it where you need to go. So let me share my screen and I'm gonna walk you through it and I'm explaining to you why you need to do it. So what a lot of people don't understand is that the rates automatically update like your state withholding, your federal withholding, your state disability, your federal unemployment tax, like a lot of things automatically update, but in California, Every employer has their own unemployment rate. And it's not something QuickBooks can update for you. So every year you have to go in and update it. And a lot of times people forget. So I thought I'd come in here and remind you before you start processing payroll to update it. If you have, QuickBooks will automatically catch up to the proper rate. It, it has it, the systems built for that. So go into your EDD rate if you didn't get this paper in the mail or you don't know where it is. And you can click right here where it says, get my UI rate. And that will let you know what your current rate is. So see, it'll tell you like all the years and what your different rates are. So last year it was 3.4. This year for this company example, it's 4.7. So I'm gonna show you how to go into the online version and the desktop version. Since I already have the online version open, I'm gonna do that one first. So you click go in. Mine let me look slightly different than yours. I have the accountant's version. But what you're looking for on the left is taxes, payroll taxes, okay? We're going to go into the setup and we're going to adjust it. In a minute, I'll show you how to do the desktop version. So you go in, you're going to, it's going to look like this, and you're going to say, edit your tax setup. Click on that. And that's going to bring up this screen. You're going to click on state tax information because we're working on the state. And then you're going to click right here where it says, change your, change your add your rate. So go ahead and click that button. Then you're going to put in your new rate, so 4.7, and you're going to make it effective. So you're going to type in January 1st, 2019, and click OK. So the way the unemployment rate works is in the state of California, normally when you hit around 6.2 or you cap out at the towards the top of the unemployment rate, they no longer charge you employer training tax, I guess because they feel like they already are charging you enough for the unemployment tax. It doesn't like that I'm in a different screen. So let me go back one screen. Um, so it caps out. So once you hit a certain number on the unemployment, you no longer have to pay ETT. So if you're, so it went ahead and updated it, you'll see there. Um, and then it, so if you, your unemployment rate went up this year, you may not have ETT anymore. If that's the case, you would change it. And then you put 0.00 in there if that's the case, or if you, you know, need to pay it, you can point point one, or if you don't need to put point zero. So totally up to you, depending on what you need. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing just for a second so that I can get my desktop version open. There we go. Let me show it to you. If that makes sense, if you have any questions on the online version, let me know. In the desktop version, you go under list, payroll items list. You open up your state unemployment, go through Click next, next till you get to this where it's the rate change. And it allows you to change it per quarter, um, but it's the same rate for the whole year. So you're just gonna put in your new rate and then click next, click change, next, finish. And there you go. And then the same would be true for your uh, the e employer training tax, ETT, open it up. If you no longer need to pay it, put it at zero. If you it's been zero, but you actually owe it this year because your unemployment rate has gone down. You can change it there, click next and finish. And that's it. If you guys, if you're needing more support within QuickBooks, you, I'd love to invite you. I'm doing a workshop this week, the Getting Started Workshop, where I teach you how to customize QuickBooks. So you can just go to candiscamper.com and you'll see the live workshop at the top. And then if you are needing support, like to process your W-2s, your 941, 940, your state 
forms or properly pay your taxes. If you've been struggling, you can always go under work with me. I have a course, it's called the quarterly and year in forms course, where I walk through exactly how to do each of the forms that you need and then how to properly pay your taxes in e-file. So that's right here. Depending on if you need the desktop version or the online, I have one for both. So I hope you guys enjoy this tip. And if you have any questions or you enjoyed it, let me know down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a great day. See you soon.